Are you going south? Yeah, I would. I wonder if you could help me. You see, I've got two young ladies here in trouble. Norway himself, with terrible numbers, assisted by that most disloyal traitor, and to conclude, the victory fell on us. And for an earnest of a greater honor, he bade me from him call the Thane of Cordor. In the name of Beelzebub. Here's a farmer that hanged himself <laughs> on the expectation of plenty. Oh. Knock, 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 who's there? I'm in the wrong one. I made a mistake. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Well, we all of us have times when we're not in control of ourselves. Look, there are millions of normal people walking the streets. All right, Margaret. You are ill. I want you to go home, pack a bag, and admit yourself to the clinic. You know there is no proper name for the back of the knee. May I remind you of the exploits of one William Barker of Manchester? The moment of our fear is the hour of our triumph. Evil mates, show us thy power. Oh, now rise from hell! Rise, my friend. You've done well, Lord Vader. Everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. There it will stay. Soon the rebellion will be crushed and young Skywalker will be one of us. Yes, I know. Strange that I have not. Your faith in your friends is yours. <laughs> so be it. Jedi, you will die. Uh, yes, Your Highness. Commander, should the rebels manage to blow up the shield generator, you will turn this battle station onto the Endor moon and destroy it. Your father was General Renko. You don't look a bit like him. My God. What sort of chasm? And don't the ones you love eat up your flesh? Goodbye, pretty lady. I come not to educate you, but to abuse you. Art brings chaos into order. The actor must destroy, the writer must demolish all previously held notions of performance, all previously held notions of reality, all clamor for comfort. The class is on the move. The class is on the move. He hasn't matured. He refuses to mature. Um, maturity to him is, as Downchild says, his play Downchild. The character Tom Downchild says, maturity. I hate maturity. This goes to you, Arthur. He said you would recognize the secret password. It's 10%. Thank you, sir. I am the High Priest Morse. You are the evil spirit. I don't recall inviting you to use my Christian name. I am going to kill you. Or am I? You're sweating, Morse. It's a disagreeable sight. We'll have to use your car, Marion. Quick! When you get him back to the aid station, strip him. Get him into the ambulance. Now. Radiation symptoms? Any help you may give him in extracting himself from his obligations will be greatly appreciated by me. What reply shall I pass on to him? Well, my dear, it is wartime, you know. It's a birthday party. He bikes every day. So you're going there. Interesting. There. Changes take place, you know. I'm asking novelists to write plays. 
How else can I persuade you? Mm -hmm. I can't go. Then why are you hovering? You were always such a passionate young woman. My son committed suicide 18 days ago. I want someone to find out why. I need details from those who knew Mark about his state of mind before he died. Really no conception of the importance of the work we do here. Mark's death was necessary. Unlike most deaths, it served a purpose. It was for the public good. For the good of humanity, if you like. He should have been proud to die. I'm a scientist. I report what I find, and I find that I didn't love him. I have a pretty large experience of boys, and you're a bad set of fellows. A young fellow of great expectations. The Chancellor should never have brought them into this. I have assurances from the Chancellor. His ambassadors did arrive. They will have no choice but to accept your control of the system. Queen Amidala is young and naive. I want that treaty signed. You have been well trained, my young apprentice. <laughs> May I present Supreme Chancellor Valor? You could call for a vote of no confidence in Chancellor Valorum. Now they will elect a new Chancellor. A strong Chancellor. I will be Chancellor. I'm sending my apprentice, Darth Maul. Lord Maul, be mindful. Wipe them out. All of them. We will watch your career with great interest. I wish I had your confidence in this tactic, Senator. We must force a new election for Supreme Chancellor. Dr. Thomas Lancaster. Three persons murdered. Operate. She's dead. To what is your purpose is the question. What manner of instruments are these? It's time to confess our sins. Your four friends played you false. An old friend, like Master Kenobi. And so, they've finally given you an assignment. But what senator would have the courage to propose such a radical amendment? I will create a grand army of the Republic. You have done well. We will take up these matters tomorrow. My role apparently is that of mediator, um, who believes in peace and the power of negotiation. And there's police work like that, too. No patience, no finesse, but glad it's none of our doing. The examining magistrate, actually. It's a policeman with knobs on. <laughs> People always seem to take a turn for the worse when they come through our doors. There is a great disturbance in the Force. Search your feelings, Lord Vader. The Force is strong with him. Yes. Leave him, or we'll never make it. Yes, thanks to your two Jedi Knights, they killed Count Dooku. Soon I will have a new apprentice. I need your help, son. Losing his power, which eventually, of course, he did. I am the Senate. Ah. Darth Vader. They will kill us, along with all the senators. Wipe out Viceroy Gunray. Execute Order 66. He will take care of you. My, My resolve has never been stronger. You have restored peace. Justice to the galaxy. <laughs> I sense Lord Vader is in danger. He's still alive. But in this case, I have no choice. I've said I'll do what is right. Awaken him. I love this fabric. It's from uh, Japan. Really? Yeah. I think one of the factors of the character I play is, is temptation. Now I think they could probably do it in their sleep. They certainly do it in mine. To wear the costume to play the character I was playing is wonderfully empowering. 
but uh, the, the colours, the textures, people keep coming up and say, is it rubber, is it leather? Well, it's neither rubber nor leather. I don't quite know what it is. I'm sure Tricia will describe what it is. You'd be a very strange person indeed if you didn't know that I played Darth Sidious and also Palpatine, although, of course, I never admitted it in public. And George never admitted it on screen. And it, it has, it's a scene that has a chance to develop. But it's a dialogue scene in which there are many beats. So in and out of two different makeups on a regular basis. I think these guys are getting really good at it now. And they got it down to an hour and three quarters. What kept you? It takes us back to the old Return of the Jedi days. It absolutely does. I haven't seen a polished helmet since those days. <laughs> then I met Mark uh, Hamill, who told me much more. And uh, we got on very well. And Mark has a, a great sense of humor and was very fond of English humor and English comics at that time. Um, so everything started to relax. And it was, it was great fun to to work with him, but it was fairly obvious what was going on in terms of the scenes that I had, and I didn't have the full script. This is the Tory party, for God's sake. They're not going to let a woman run the show. No. I don't have a choice. Of course you've got a choice, woman. The family. Me. And there was a very famous production by the great German director Peter Stein with Bruno Gantz. Uh, so it was sort of in my head, but I'd... What now? Say now, that over. Join the pork side. Special mode for pigs, too. Yeah. Hammer! Action! And uh, George said, hey, you do it again. So I would do this. You have to project the character and yourself. And also you're making connections with the audience that has arrived that night, that afternoon, to see the show. And they'll always be different. So the connections will always be different. Whereas in the movie, uh, you learn, you learn the lines, you, you turn up, and you try to have a situation which is entirely concentrated and also wholly relaxed. I'm Sir George Goldie, President of the RGS. Of course. Uh, please, sit down. I'm getting there. This is far more than just survey work. And they're trying to steal the plans for the Death Star. Well, of course, I haven't allowed that, have I? Sit like that. And I saw the chair. Oh, that's good. Uh, you know, every emperor needs a throne. So there was a, already a kind of given area. Lord Vader, had you dealt with the rebels in the Lothal system? And yet I sense in you something more to your victory, perhaps, if he lives. There has been a great disturbance in the Force. We must seize the power within. Mine at last. <laughs> Forgive me, but I would have thought you would thank me for this effort. There are infinite paths and infinite possibilities. Unfortunately, destroy him. So he thought originally he would only direct Phantom Menace, and then he would hand it over to other directors. And there were other directors in the frame. Uh, I shouldn't mention the names, but they're names you would all know, exciting directors. And we were all excited to think we'd be working with them on on episodes two and three. Like everybody else, I had no idea what the title was. Uh, they did let me into a secret that uh, the emperor might be laughing, but I have to tell you that that particular laugh was not specially recorded. They found it somewhere. And said, we're, we're thinking of bringing back the emperor. How do you feel? So I, I controlled myself. I'm like, I said, well, that sounds like a great idea. And I realized my voice had shot up there, and I thought, you're very what would have cast me if I speak like that? And I said, well, that's wonderful. Unnatural. Kill the girl. As the new emperor. Come to me on Exegol, General Pride. The time has come! And pledge herself as a Sith. A Jedi! <laughs> I am all the Sith. So Snoke was a clone. I, I mean, I, I, he did. Palpatine was responsible for everything. He made everything in one way or another. Um, and that's, you know, talk about power early yeah. on. If you think back from, well, I'm sure you will go back to watch them in the correct sequence, that's threaded throughout all of the movies from the last film, that little creature who gave Anthony Daniels his life back. Thank you, yes. 
Yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> she, it, they were, <laughs> were absolutely sensational. Uh, and also the voice belongs to a Scottish actress who I know quite well. You seem agitated, my friend. If your past cannot be overcome. I wonder if your thoughts are clear on this, Lord Vader. Perhaps your feelings for your old master have left you weakened. Yes, I think so. I keep forgetting the word execute for some reason. <laughs> you think that would be a word you would remember? Yeah. I don't know what you mean. For you, perhaps. So I have been betrayed. Kill her. Rise. My friend, I am deeply troubled by this recent revelation. Many lives have been lost. He did not act alone. This legislation is our future. I like the last one too, because that was a big surprise, not least to me. And uh, it was nice to be reconstituted and swing around the enormous studio on this sort of giant crane thing. And then we had the first makeup day. And uh, it took five hours, and you know, you, you saw the result, and I saw the result, and I looked in the mirror and I screamed.